In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can implement the new version of Google Tag Manager on a website running on WordPress. We are gonna go through the installation and make sure the tool is working correctly. And I'm gonna give you some tips on what tools you can use to make this all easier. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the marketing tech of tomorrow. My name is Julian and on this channel we do marketing tool reviews, tutorials and give you tips on how you can become a better and more technical marketer. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now today we are gonna do an update on a very popular video on how to install Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website. This was necessary because Google Tag Manager has recently changed their interface and now recommends a different installation of their snippet. We got lots to cover, so let's get started. So here we are at our demo shop, which is a WordPress installation which has WooCommerce shop software running plus the storefront theme that you can also install. Now on this website, we want to install Google Tag Manager. What does that mean? Well, let's go over to Google Tag Manager and look at the snippet that we were prompted with at the beginning when we opened up our account. We can reach that here pretty easily by clicking on the GTM ID. You would also find it under the admin section in install Google Tag Manager. So under this option, we are granted with two separate codes. Now previously, just a while ago, these codes were actually combined in one code and one central snippet that you would place on your website beneath the opening body tag. Now Google Tag Manager changed this recently and now recommends to install the script portion of the tag in the head of your HTML and the no script part beneath the opening body tag. Now, if you have existing installations of Google Tag Manager on your client's websites, for example, then do you need to change this? Not necessarily. Google Tag Manager still will work fine when it's installed beneath the opening body tag. But with this version, you might get a slight increase in tracking accuracy because Google Tag Manager loads earlier. It's higher up in the HTML document. So you don't necessarily have to change your implementation, but for new implementations, I would as well recommend to use this method of splitting up the code and placing the script part in the head section. So how would we accomplish that on our demo page? Well, let's look into the HTML, which we can reach under right click, view page source. And here we can find the places where we should place the code. Here's the head section and we can look for the body tag. This is down here where we want to place our codes. This is also where we are gonna check later if Google Tag Manager is correctly installed. Since our site is running on WordPress, we can edit the theme of our installation. Notice that Google Tag Manager actually recommends to place this code on every page of your website. I would say with the exceptions of the pages that are normally not reached by normal users. So for example, anything that has to do with the backend functionality that normally employees access wouldn't need to be tagged with Google Tag Manager necessarily. How can we accomplish this on our demo shop? Well, we are running on WordPress. WordPress has themes that govern the appearance of each website on our website. and there are normally parts of the theme that lets us add our scripts to it and they will automatically be implemented on every web page of our website. So let's see how we would do this in WordPress. First of all, we would go to our backend, which can be reached under WP Admin. We would log in and then we can go to Appearance here and to the editor. Now notice that I have two themes installed on my store. One is the actual storefront theme. The second one is the storefront child theme, which I would recommend to install a child theme and not edit the mother theme in order for your changes not to be overwritten when the theme updates. So I'm running here at child theme and I have a file here called theme header, which is the header PHP. We can click on it. And here we will find our 
already looked at elements, which are the opening head tag and the opening body tag. So here's where we can install our Google Tag Manager code. Let's go over, copy this, and place this beneath the head right here. And here we have our Google Tag Manager no script part, which needs to go beneath the opening body tag. So we can place this right here. Let's update our files. Go back to our store and look into our HTML. And we see our scripts are now placed in the head section of our HTML and beneath the opening body tag as well. So Google Tag Manager is installed at least on this website. Now we could go through other pages and check whether it's installed in the HTML, but we can also help ourselves with some tools. The first tool being the Tag Assistant by Google. Once we click on that, we see that Google Tag Manager is installed, but we get a little bit of an error here because there's no HTTP status response yet from Google Tag Manager. That's because we haven't actually published a version yet. So let's go back to our workspace and just initialize our Google Tag Manager account by clicking on this publish button and publishing a new version. Don't forget to name your version in order for it to be visible in the version control. Let's continue. And the status code should be fine now. Let's reload this page and we see Google Tag Manager is now correctly installed. Now we could go again through all the pages and see if it's installed. Another trick would be to actually enter the preview and debug mode within our Google Tag Manager interface. Just so that we have visual confirmation, we should see a interface that pops up here. This is our preview and debug console. Once we go through the pages and do a little bit of a spot check, we see every time we go to a new page, our preview and debug mode opens, which hints at that our Google Tag Manager code is installed correctly. If you wanna get more sophisticated or do an audit, then I would recommend a spider software such as Screaming Frog, which you can configure to go through all the pages and check whether your Google Tag Manager code is installed. But in our case, everything seems fine and we have successfully installed Google Tag Manager. Now, another method of installing Google Tag Manager would be the utilization of plugins. Oftentimes, bigger shop systems or content management systems have the availability of extending the functionality of the platform itself by installing plugins. WordPress has some as well. One that I can dearly recommend is the plugin by Thomas Geiger, who has built this Duracell Tomi Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin, which will help you to install this code, but also extend the functionality of WordPress by implementing the right data layers to pick up data that is normally only available through customization of your WordPress platform. This is a great addition to WordPress. Unfortunately, as of now, it doesn't support yet the implementation of these two separate codes that we have within Google Tag Manager, but I'm sure it's gonna be updated soon enough. So this is how you can install Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website. So there you have it. This is how you can install Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website. It wasn't too hard, right? Or do you have a better method of installing Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website? Then I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We'll have more videos waiting for you every Wednesday. My name is Julian, till next time.